Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of the 100 baby challenge. My name is Audrey if you forgot and I'm so excited. We are pregnant with Mortimer Goth's baby. A lot is going on actually. Bryn is playing with some blocks. Um, I'm working really hard at her skills because we need to age up these toddlers. I'm kind of getting sick of them. Not gonna lie, I want some children and teenagers soon. Clearly her potty in the back is pretty dirty so we're not really keeping up on the house cleaning very well but that's okay. And her foot's coming through the wall so you know things are going pretty well here. So I just got the notification that it's Cliff's birthday which is our baby right here as you can see on the calendar it's his birthday I'm not cheating or anything so we're actually gonna wake up Melody and age him up I thought that would be fun and she is let's look just just some housekeeping before we get started um she's in her um, second trimester in 20 hours she'll be in her third trimester with Mortimer's baby and then as for Bryn she's doing pretty well on her skills her potty skills doing pretty good she's already level three on movement so that's good and then for Anna Lee as you can see the only skill we need to finish is the thinking skill. She is so close to level three. She's 96% complete. We're going to be aging her up in this part as well. I'm so excited to have a child and start to go to school and stuff. That's going to be so much fun. So let's wake up Melody and let's age up Cliff. Vince has sent Cliff a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail soon. Oh my gosh, he sent his son a gift. Oh, he's cute. He's actually... He's pretty cute. He looks like his mom. We finally have a kid that kind of looks like us. Okay, so Cliff aged up. So now we have to randomize our trait. We had two fussy toddlers already. So if we get a third one, we're officially cursed. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, bless the heavens. So he's angelic. He's, um... I idyllic easygoing toddlers they are never defiant and they don't throw a tantrum they can easily talk to strangers this is really nice I could tell he's gonna be the easy one he didn't really cry as much in his crib and then we're gonna come over here and give her some attention because she is really struggling I feel like overall Bryn has been more self-soothing than Anna Lee so sometimes Anna Lee got more attention as for Cliff we will go into create a statement in a little bit and give him a makeover he's kind of he's kind of a chubby little guy you know Anna Lee has slept enough i'm actually gonna have her wake up we really need to just get her aged up as well then we can go into create a sim and make over both of them at the same time okay yay so she has reached thinking level three so what we're gonna do we should probably have melody make a cake make this official all right so we are going to add we can't add we're gonna add birthday candles help blow out candles anna lee wake up anna lee it's your time to shine girl and then maybe we'll put cliff in this room and then anna lee i don't know where we're we're gonna put her yet all right here we go her siblings are kind of just like chilling upstairs oh my gosh i'm so excited is she gonna look like her mom or her dad annalee aged up let's randomize her trait first all right so she's gonna be a cat lover these sims tend to make cats their companions preferring the company of cats to other sims um as for the aspiration i don't really know how to randomize this so i'm gonna close my eyes and pick one okay social butterfly there you go so i'm gonna take these two um Anna Lee and Cliff into create a sim and then we will be back.
All right, so I made some quick changes to the house. I actually added a little addition, and so we do not have a small home anymore, unfortunately, but we just need the space. It was nice while it lasted having lower bills, but we'll have to start making more money, I guess. So this is gonna be the like children's room, and eventually we'll have to make a teen room. So we'll kind of keep like the children together, the toddlers, the teens. So for now, it's purple. And then this is the wall. I don't know if I've showed you guys yet. This is the wall where I'm gonna put all of their pictures and stuff. We we might actually grow out of this wall. This wall is almost actually full. As you can see, I have like toddler pictures of each kid. Um, so far, I need to take one of Cliff and then I need to take a child picture of Annalie, which I will do very soon. She is going to give birth like anytime now. Her needs aren't looking the best. I'm going to be honest. Having all these children is starting to take a toll on her, but I think I finally got these kids like a little bit happy. They were having, you know, some moments. Annalie already did her homework, so we're well on our way to getting an A in school, which is nice. Well, not well on her way. We have a C right now, but her first day of school is in the morning. So that's pretty exciting. And she did discover monsters under her bed. So she's too afraid to sleep in a bed. So we're going to wait for that to pass. Oh, I did add a TV. So just some small upgrades. I changed kind of the coloring in this room. All right. So good morning. We are going to have Annalie have some breakfast because the bus is going to be here in about 40 minutes. Well, 40 sim minutes, uh, 40 seconds. <laughs> um, so they're having some fruit salad together. It's really nice that they're eating together. Mom's not feeling the best, you know. She's about to go into labor, I feel like. You know, Annalie's a really sweet kid, actually. You know, her toddlerhood, questionable, but she's doing well now. Oh my goodness, Bryn used the toilet on her own. How nice. I'm excited for the new baby, but I'm at the point where this is getting repetitive, and I'm like, how many more babies do I need? So it is time for her to go to school. I don't know what she's doing. Girl, you're late for school. You're trying to get an A. You need to go. Like, just go, please. Let's have you come sell all of the gardening or the plants. Let's spray for bugs. That's gross. And then we're gonna weed everything. Today's mail has been delivered. Do I even want to know? 556. That's not too bad actually. So we'll go pay that right away. And then she needs to go to the bathroom and then we'll have her potty train Cliff. Bryn, 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 Bryn. She is doing pretty good on her skills. Let's work on imagination. In lab, Annalie's science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with frightening another student. We think she did it on purpose. Academic punishment seems right. No real harm done. Let's do that because I don't want academic punishment. Our toilet is got something going on. Mortimer is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Nah. So Annalie has been working hard and she is now a grade school B student. That is really good news. And she also came home with the school project today, which is awesome. So we'll have her put it out here. Let's have her work on that. Start working carefully, of course. We want her to achieve the best um, grades possible. So we'll have her work carefully on that. This is literally the story of the 100 baby challenge right here. This. He's just vibing. He's a really good toddler. He's probably the best one so far, like best behaved. I don't really have to redirect him. He kind of just does his own thing, which is really nice. I don't know why it's taking so long for her to give birth. She's not doing the best. <laughs> she really isn't thriving at all. Oh, finally, finally, it's time to have the baby. Um, so this is, um, this is quite the look. <laughs> Come on, give birth. Oh, it's a girl. So Mortimer and Melody had a baby girl. Her name has to start with a D, so we'll keep going until we, oh, Desiree, I just skipped it. Des, Desiree, Desiree, that's her name, Desiree. She's probably gonna look like Mortimer. All of our kids end up looking like their dads. Girl, I hope you don't look like Mortimer. It's just kind of crazy to me how her, she has siblings. I don't think any of the other kids have si other siblings. Desiree has um, Alexander and Cassandra. All right, so Melody has escaped her home in the middle of the night. It is like 3 a.m. in the game. So she snuck out in the middle of the night, sent her kids to daycare, and she's at Star Gazer Lounge in San Myshuno. I thought we'd come and try to pick up some guys. It is pretty quiet here. There is one guy. His name is Francisco David. So we're gonna give him a friendly introduction. He's kind of our only option at this point. It'll have to do. And right as we're talking to this new guy, look who shows up. Honestly, these days I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised anymore. He is such a stalker. Out of all of our exes, he shows up the most. Like sometimes, you know, Max pops up. He's cute about it. But this this guy right here is something. Things are going pretty well with our conversation. Let's have our first kiss with Francisco. Oh, yay. Francisco is kind of an easy one to like get. <laughs> Francisco's totally down for all of this. I like Francisco. Look at them. Now, I did find out Francisco has the trait hates children, but we don't care. We're gonna try for baby in hot tub. He hates children, but he's totally down. Wow. 
How beautiful. Let's make sure she's pregnant. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's take a pregnancy test. Okay, so she is eating for two. Yay. We're gonna head back home. Yeah, we probably won't talk to him again. All right, so Bryn has officially reached level three of all her skills. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We can age her up. Let's make Bryn a hamburger cake. That'd be kind of cute. I have our wall going still. I added a picture of her and Francisco. Francisco's actually at our house right now. I don't know why, but like, hopefully he goes away. Here we go. She's so cute. Bryn's one of my my favorites. I mean, I like all of them, but I really like Bryn. We're gonna randomize her trait. So I know Annalie was a cat lover, so so she's edgy. Okay, this is actually <laughs> this is a custom content trait. Whether these sims are actually dark on the inside or they're dark on the outside for show is a mystery. These sims tend to have that grade A angst all the time, so therefore they tend to be more sad or angry. I don't know if we should keep custom content traits in in this. We'll do it for now. So edgy's fine. Random, random, random. So she's edgy and has the motor aspiration. Mortimer just showed up at my house and it looks like he is an elder and um also look who else is over here it's Bella our arch nemesis I think she's also an elder oh my gosh honey you've seen better days yikes so we're gonna have Melody come down here and we're actually gonna have her just I mean I'm I, I'm sad to do this but we're gonna um ask to just be friends we're gonna cut ties with Mortimer just so he stops showing up at our house oh Cliff please please stop talking to him we still have have like a relationship going with a lot of these guys that we need to break off. I think I'm going to end this part here just because there has been a lot that's happened in this part. It hasn't been the longest part, but like honestly a lot happened. This is the photo wall so far guys. I love how it looks. So we are going to end this part here. I hope you enjoyed seeing what happened in part three. I'm so excited for part four. We should be having another baby as well as Cliff should be aging up and maybe Desiree too with the baby. So we have a lot of aging up going on. Hopefully Annalie will get an A in school. We, it's it's just a lot going on. I kind of can't keep track of these kids anymore. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.